Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hope y'all doing well today. Sorry, I got distracted and I had to take care of some of my bad, my bad, my bad. Hope y'all doing well today. Hope y'all doing well. What's up, Lazelli? I'm probably butchering your name. I apologize. Glad you liked the reviews. Good morning, sweetheart. How are you doing today? Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's well. Alrighty, chat. Um, I don't know what to do today. I honestly don't. Actually, I forgot. I have to turn my light on. Chat, will, the tur will my light just nuke the stream? Let's find out. Oh, my lights aren't even gonna turn on. Never mind, that's even better. Hold on one second. You get some you get some ASMR of me fixing my light real quick. Cool. Uh, let's do that. That looks semi-normal. Alright, cool. That should be a little better. Alright, cool. We're good. Alright, hold on one second, I gotta be real quick. All right, that's better. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. All right, awesome. That should be set up for that. Good morning, everyone. Hey, what's up, tired? To, uh, what's up, tired? Rum, how you doing? Ghosty, hey, what's up? Uh, yo, what's up, Yuki? How you doing? Uh, bad business today? Uh, probably. I'll do a little bit with that for sure. Yuki, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna pull out the uh, Raven for today. Also, chat. I'm not sure if you can see it. Little, little leak. See, see over there. 
I have something very, very cool I got in the mail a couple days ago, but I can't talk about it quite yet. Um, but yeah, it's got something cool. And no, it's not what you think it is. Uh, it's something actually very different, but it is the same color as the thing you probably think it is. Why is my light just dying? Hold on, chat, one second. My light is not cooperating today. There we go, that's better. What's my favorite mouse right now? Ooh, ooh that's a tough one. Um... Wow, that's a hard one, honestly. Uh, I'll be honest with you, there's been so many good mice this year, it's kind of hard to pick one. I think... I think right now... As, <clears throat> as crazy as this sounds, I still think I like the Razor Death out of V3 more than pretty much everything else right now. Um, I like that. Uh, the OP1AK is really good. The um, OP1K is really good. Uh, Sprime PM1 is really good. Sora V2 is excellent. I'll be honest, there's so many good mice right now. It's it's so hard to pick like a good one right now. The one I'm probably, oh, and also chat, I forgot to mention, a uh, little leak for you guys who don't know about this yet. I'm posting about this tomorrow. Uh, I did post about this, but I also have the Stormbreaker here as well, which I'm in, which I'm currently reviewing as well. So we have this one in the uh, rotation as well right now. Uh, I'll be honest with you though, literally Lazel, there has been like every single mouse that's come out in the like so far in 2024 has been so good. Like, I, every single mouse has just been amazing. I like there are obviously problems with them, like they're not perfect, but there's been so many good mice. I think, in all honesty, the one that kind of like kind of stands out the most right now is uh, the Endgame Gear OP1 AK. This is probably the most complete mouse, I think, right now. Um, this one really, really surprised me. There's, there's gonna be a full review that's coming out in a week or so, um, but the OP1 AK is like a probably a standout right now, but. Yeah, I just, I, all the mice lately have been so good. It's really hard to pick like a good one. I will say the Sprite PM1 is, is an exceptionally good mouse. Oh yeah, speaking of chat. Yeah, the Wise Owl Cloud Mini, yeah, as well. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a good mouse. I'm hoping I can get a unit for that, um, but we'll see. Also chat, I'm not sure if you missed it. Um, I'm also testing out the Soul Spacer Shapeshift grips. So these are like little rubber attachments you can use to change the grip of your mouse. So you can see here, I can kind of use them to like widen my grip on the PM1. I can, this is used as a thumb anchor and these kind of are like a resting position. I'm currently testing these as well. These are really cool. I really like these. I have three sets of them. Um, so we may thrive hell four fingers. We have three sets of them. Uh, I'm going to do some testing on those today as well and see what we can mess around with that. But let me go grab, uh, let me go grab the Raven and I'll be right back and grab that. Yes, in answer to your question, chat, my entire closet is filled with mouse pads. Literally the entire closet. Okay. All right, here we go, chat. We got, we got our Raven Mori. So use the HyperX Pulsar Haste one. Ooh, okay. Uh, hey, that is a great mouse. I love the, I love the Pulsar Haste one. That is like one of my favorite mice of all time. Not gonna lie. I, have you, uh, uh, Lexa, have you tried the, um, have you tried the Hub HyperX Pulse Fire Haze 2? That's like one of my favorite mice from last year. It is a really, really good mouse. What do I do to practice your, how many mice do I have? Um, so there's all those there. And then there's another stack on top of that. And then there's more in my closet. And there's also a bunch on my thing here. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me grab the Haze 2 real quick. Hold on. One second. Yeah, way, way too many mice. And there's more coming. I'm running out of space for all my mice. The geckos, I'm curious about those grips. They're, they just released. They're not even out yet. They're up for like pre-order right now, um, but they are genuinely really cool. I will say they're definitely, like the soul spacers are definitely well optimized more for like medium hands. Um, they don't really work as good for like bigger hands because the goal of them is to fit like, hold on, let me grab my mouse here. Like, so the goal, is to kind of fit like the gaps in your grip like here and here but because my hands are so big i'm using them as like anchoring points so i'm not really like the advertised use case for them but they're still pretty good um one second here <clears throat> yeah if you haven't tried the haste 2 yet this is like one of my favorite mice from last year it's like disgustingly good no space for mice, I could take some. <laughs> Honestly, chat, okay, Loki, I've always wanted to do like a giveaway or something, but to be completely honest with you, the problem is, is that like shipping out of Canada is so insanely expensive. I just genuinely can't afford to ship it out. 
like if I was to give away a mouse, it would probably cost me like, so if I was to send this mouse out, it would probably cost me close to like $300 to send it out of the country. It was just ludicrously insane. HyperX Pulse Right H2 versus Death Out of V3 Wired. Realistically speaking, from a performance standpoint, the Razer one is technically better because it has a better sensor. In realistically speaking, they're pretty much the same mouse. I prefer the shape of the Death Adder V3 over the Hyper Expulsor Haze 2, but both of them are still like exceptionally good mice. But the OPON AK is better than both of them in terms of performance, but the shell isn't as good as the Death Adder V3, if that makes sense. It's kind of like a middle ground. I wish we had the death out of V3 with the PCB of the AO and getting the OP1 AK. That'd be disgusting. Um, but yeah. Okay, hold on one second, chat. <clears throat> yeah, hold on. Well, I wonder if I can... Uh, yes, it is. So the Polar Grand, the Haste 2 is 8K, but there've also been a lot of improvements to the mouse itself because it's using a different sensor, which doesn't have the DPI deviation issues. Also the overall performance and the weight of the mouse is better. Um, it's just a better version of the original HyperX Pulse for Haste. It's just a universally a better version in my opinion. If you want to learn more about it, I do have like a full review of it on my channel. It's like one of my older reviews, but it is genuinely a very good mouse. It's one of my favorites. Actually, fun fact about that mouse, the... The OP1, oh, I can't show it on my screen. The OP1 AK, the Endgame Gear 1, is using the same MCU that was in the HyperX Pulsar Haze 2, which means they have very similar high pulling rate performance, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, anyways, okay. Um, all right, so on the docket today, let me see here. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything in chat. I'm sorry. Uh, in regards to someone asked about aim training, I'm sorry if I missed your message. I apologize. I used to grind Kovacs like a bunch. Um, I don't really aim train that much anymore because I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not really playing a lot nowadays. Um, I just kind of, I, I just like, I do Kovacs mainly for like performance testing more than anything, but Kovacs has been my main go to for forever. Aim Labs was okay, but it kind of has a wacky performance, and Easy Aim is okay. It just needs some work. Watch it already? Okay, good. Yeah. That, th that review kind of summarizes my thoughts on it. It is, it is genuinely a very, very good mouse. Hey, what's up, DA? How are you doing today? What's going on? Oh, wired. My, oh, yeah. A, a chat. Okay. I don't want to get on a whole tangent about this, but like, okay. So I'm going to use the OP1 AK as a great example. The OP1 AK is the best. Um, how do I say this? The OP1 AK is the best performing mouse I've ever used. And it beats out every single wireless mouse I have in terms of just raw performance because click latency and for a, an AK pulling rate implementation is just so much better over a wired connection as opposed to wireless. It's just better. And it's also cheaper. And you don't have to worry about like battery drain problems. It's just better overall. People who are like, oh, the wire makes, the wire causes damage. The wire causes like cable drag is just stupid because you can just use like a Pulsar ES bungee and it makes the mouse feel wireless. So like I made a Death Adder V3. That's like my main mouse. And I've been using that mouse with a Pulsar ES bungee for forever. And it feels better than every other wireless mice I've tried. Also, this may be kind of cope, but I feel like I find, personally speaking, I find that wired mice are more responsive than wireless mice. I don't know what it is. I can never put my finger on it, but I feel like they're better if that makes sense. Hey, what's up, Shrekter? How you doing? Um, sweetheart, do I have children? No, I do not. I do not like children. I hate kids. <laughs> I, I hate kids. <laughs> Nothing against anyone who wants to have kids like you do you, but I just, I, I'm not a kid person. I just, ugh. I prefer pets. I'm, I am I have three cats. So I guess if you count cats as children, then yes, I have three children, but like three actual, like actual children? Nah, not for me. I'm, I'm not a... I'm not a kid person. Uh, question, 4K dongle from Lambsu, can you pair it with other, my, um, okay, so technically speaking, yes. However, okay, so it's a yes and no question. Theoretically speaking, you can unlock every 4K dongle to work with other mice, but it depends on, it depends on the, man, the manufacturing and the firmware for that mouse. Gen like, because like sometimes you'll find like demo shark mice, or what was there was another manufacturer that had 4K polling dongles that worked with other mice. I can't remember what it was. You can do it. It's just very difficult to do so because you have to flash the firmware of the dongle and tune it to a new mouse. You can do it. It's not recommended though because ninety like ninety nine point nine percent of the time you're just gonna break your mouse. It's usually not worth doing. Some you can get lucky with sometimes where like some manufacturers. Um, what was I gonna say? Um. 
you can get lucky sometimes where some manufacturers use the same factory like the Sprime PM1 and the Sora V2 technically speaking they're the same dongle they're just encoded differently so you could change it but if you have a Lamzu dongle you can use it with other Lamzu mice just not other non-Lamzu mice if that makes sense yeah, wired, wired mice just feel better than ever. I, I just, I know it's so cool, but wired mice just feel better than everything. I, I just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I've been using wired so much of my life, but I just find they're better. I don't know what it is. Hold on. I'm going to close my closet door before someone comes into chat and mauls about the door being open. Because that's a thing, apparently. <clears throat> but yeah. Let's see in gameplay now. Yeah, give me a second. Sorry, I'm just gonna get into. I usually get into a ta like a, usually it's, usually my stream begins with like a 30 minute tangent of me talking about random mice stuff. That's usually how it goes. Also, for my fellow Canadians, um, Tim Hortons has like a creme brulee um, iced coffee. It's dog shit. I'm I'm going to pay dearly for drinking this, but I need the caffeine. But don't get it. It's so bad. It, it's it's generally one of the worst things I've ever tasted in my life. Don't get this. Whatever you do. I will pay dearly for this later. <laughs> it's genuinely terrible. Okay, chat. We need to figure out what we're testing today. How long, how long did it take your Sora V2 to arrive? I got mine as a review unit. I got it, oosh, I got it like a month and a half ago. I know there's some, I know right now they're sending out the first batch order stock and they're waiting for the second batch order to stock to come in. I think there's been a delay though, because the four, the AK dongle was supposed to release by now, but it's not coming up for some reason. So I believe there's a delay with that. Unfortunately, I don't really know much more than that right now. I would reach out just to adjust support and see what's going on because both the Sprime PM1 and the Sora V2 are both both like on back order right now. I don't know what's going on right. What's on? What's going on with that right now? Thank you very much for subscribing, Babu Bear. Oh, well, the stream elements bot is actually working today. Let's go, Pog. Have you ever tried Phantom Forces? Did I try Phantom Forces? I think I did like a long, like a long time ago. It's been a hot minute since I tried Phantom Forces. I think I have at some point. Okay, chat. We have to chat. We have to pick what mouse we're gonna try today. Okay, so. Chat, are we doing the Sprime PM1 with the Soul Spacers on it? We could do the Endgame Gear OP1 AK, or we could do the Stormbreaker. What should we do? We're gonna use the Raven today. We're gonna use the Mori V2 for today, though. Yeah, I, I you would is to to be fair though, chat. I used to hate. I used to hate. Um, I used to hate Bad Business too, but I kind of grew accustomed to it over time. Actually, speaking of, let me start up Bad Business. Uh, hold on, let me check. Uh, here, yeah, I'll get this started. So, so I'm not yapping on stream for another 30 minutes about mice, I imagine. <clears throat> Did I do this? Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, I just don't know what mouse to use today. Okay, wait, chat, how about we'll start off with the PM. Actually, wait, no, let's do the OP1 AK today. I feel like doing wired today. We'll do OP1 for now. We'll swap off to another one for later, I think. Okay. Uh, okay, the rifle, okay, swap off to this. Let's pause this music, switch off to this. Imagine being a professional streamer, Keck W. Okay, cool. Oh, my hand cam's not working. Of course it isn't. Come on, hand cam. There we go. Base OP1 AK, of course. Yeah, I was gonna say, it feels like an OP1 AK day for me. Okay, Um. okay, question, chat. There's a new gun. Does anyone know where the new gun is? Because I can't find it. I was looking for it earlier and I don't know where it is. There was like a rifle or something, but I don't see it anywhere. Level four, that's a sigil. Travasta, where was it? A, was it an assault rifle that was? G3, R66, GLK, Wolverine, Chimera. Is it possible to join you? So my Roblox account is bugged, unfortunately. Uh, I can't, you can't join on me directly because my account just like bugs out when everyone tries to add me. It's been bugged for forever. Um, if you, it's in rifles. Oh, it's is it this thing here? Is it broken? This looks broken. Okay, uh, well, let me just attach, attach us. Uh, yeah, I saw the Pat Smith Empress are on discount. Yeah, I was I was actually gonna pick one up, um, but I decided not to. I, I did want to grab it, but it was just the shipping was just crazy for me to get it into uh, Canada, unfortunately. So couldn't get it. Wanted to though, but it is what it is. It's so broken. Oh, of course it is. I mean, realistically speaking, am I, are we really surprised that it's broken? Like that's pretty par for the course right now. Chat, how does it, what is it like? Five, is it like, um, is it like semi or? All 
I, I know that I know they love to put like super unskilled guns in the game. So I'm actually kind of curious to see how broken this thing is. So let, let, we'll run this for like a game and see how it is. If it's like F, we'll, well, well I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to contribute to the broken guns they keep adding to this game. What is the damage on this handling 83? Oh, it is a semi. Does it one shot? Or a starter rifle? It's a starter rifle? Oh, no. Nah. How much is the Mori V2 anyways? Uh, 66 CAD, I think. I think it's around like 50 USD or something like that. Semi semi automatic rifle with auto conversion. Oh, God. Okay, so this thing's good. So this thing's going to be like insane then. No. Oh, boy. All right. Oops, I need a little more cable drag on that. I'm not sure if I like the noise. It's kind of weird. I mean, I shot him and it did nothing. Yeah, I was getting, I'm waiting for the red, like I'm waiting for the red Empress, like the controlled one to come out. That's what I was really interested in getting my hands on. Okay, so far, not too impressed with this gun. So far seems kind of bad, not gonna lie. Have I gotten to shoot anyone? No, because everyone's using OP guns, but that's fine. Forgot how you get in that window. It's three shots. Why is everyone thinking this thing's broken? It was through a three tap. Uh... Visual recoil of extremely high other rifles DMR conversions. Ah, I understand. I was gonna say this thing doesn't seem very good, chat. Okay, chat. I'm I'm not gonna lie. That this thing is not good. <laughs> this thing is not good. This thing is terrible. Uh, I genuinely one of the worst guns I've felt in a long time. Yeah, Chad, the, Chad, this thing is terrible. Uh, why is everyone yapping about this thing? There's no way. This thing sucks. Like, DMRs are horrible in this game. DMRs and snipers are some of the worst items in this entire game just because of how bad the hit rag is in this game. Like, it doesn't matter how broken the gun is if the half the bullets don't work. Chad, this thing is her This thing is terrible. There's no shot people are complaining about this thing. There's no way. Even with a full auto, I can't see this thing being good. I'm losing to pistols. Yeah, Chad, there, there, there's no shot. There's no there's no shot people are yapping about this. There's no way. Yeah, I know. Rifles are trash in this game. They're horrible. Like, they're generally some of the worst things in this game. I, I shot that guy four times, and it didn't do anything. It's because the hit rig in this game is so bad. I literally shot that guy in the head, and it did nothing. There's no shot people are yapping about this. There's no shot. Even even with the full auto, this thing can't be good. The gun, the, the projectiles are too slow. Does it one, okay, hold on. Does it one tap headshot? If it one tap headshots, then this kind of makes sense. But even still, that just, this seems terrible. Yeah, like I, I this gun seems abysmal. I genuinely don't know. Chat, what's the full auto attachment for this thing? I'll 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 get it and try it, but this gun seems abysmal. Yeah, chat, this gun's this gun's not good. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, chat. This, this thing sucks. Like, okay, cool. It one shot headshots, but like the bullet travel is so weird on this thing, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, I can I can see how this gun could be good in some situations. Yeah, Chad, this this thing this thing is terrible. This thing is terrible. This is genuinely one of the worst guns I've seen in a long time. HWA conversion. Okay, let me. I'm gonna pre-buy it just to see how it works, but I don't think it's gonna be good. 
like okay two shots but like it's maybe it's because i have a bad optic on this but like like the projectile is so bad like okay i can see how it like would have the potential to work but like this this thing is just ass i i i, I this thing is terrible on mobile i can see this thing being good but like as like an actual gun like a three tap from that range is just not nah, too 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 much It's the bullet travel that makes it really bad, I think. That's what, like, really makes it bad. I think I have to stroke visual... Re yeah, like, that's the thing. The, like, the re visual recoil is so high. Okay, I can kind of see where this could be coming in a little bit. You can't cancel the reload, though, which sucks. And I just no right to headshot. Yeah, this gun feels really bad. Like, okay, cool. It has a cool gimmick where one-tap headshots from, like, within a certain range. But, like, the gun just feels awful. Like, I just... I genuinely... It's the projectile speed. The projectile speed is so slow. Like, the projectiles need to be, like, five times faster, I think. Like, you have to lead your shots weirdly, which you don't really have to with other guns in this game, which I think makes it feel really weird. I mean, hey, I could just be, like, coping. I don't know. It feels weird to me, though. Yeah, like, even if you reduce the visual recoil on it, like, it would still be bad, like... Like, if you hit every shot, I can see this thing being broken, but... Like, you're not gonna hit every shot, because, like, the hit reg is so bad, so, like, it doesn't even matter. Like, my crosshair was on that guy's head, and it didn't even register. Yeah, they're, they're, this, this thing is awful. This thing is abysmal. Uh, there, there is no use case where this thing is actually good. Like it has its moments, but it's very bad. Like you, you just die everything. I got to try a gun, end up in your lobby. Oh no way. <laughs> I mean, like, for a star okay, for a starter rifle, I'll say, like, it's okay, but, like, it's just, I don't know. This thing is just weird. I was not doing well with this gun. Yeah, this gun is not... This gun is not good. I... Like, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how to feel about this. It has, like, I'm sure it has its moments, but I don't know. It just seems... Let me let me get, the, like, the auto-conversion mag for it and see if that makes it better. Maybe the, maybe the conversion mag will make it, like, insane. I don't think so, though. Yeah, the visual... Re the, the recoil is just abysmal. Okay, let me, let me find this attachment. Where was it? It was the... Chat, what was, what was it again? Oh, it has a sniper scope. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, chat, what was it? A drum mag? HWA conversion. Oh, full auto. Okay, so it's this one. Okay, let me just like put on a Cobra sight on this and just see. Yeah, it seems too bouncy. Yeah, okay, let me see, let me see if this works. Maybe with, like, the, the auto-conversion model works better. It seems too bouncy, though. Dear Lord in heaven. Yeah, there's no shot. Yeah, no, 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 no. That, that, that was the biggest waste of credits I think I could have put in this game. Wow. Yeah, no. Yeah, the yeah, the chat this this thing is terrible. Uh it just Like if you're like being super campy and you're just gonna like 
if you're being super campy, you're just gonna like sit in the back lines and like this thing makes sense. But like any other use case for this gun is just, I just, I don't see it. Yeah, like if it isn't one shot, like it doesn't matter. Like you need the one shot. That's like the thing that makes this gun semi usable. Like look how bad it is at range. Yeah, this, the, yeah, Chad, this is this is the worst gun in the game. Uh, this thing is awful. Yeah, the, this thing is sucks. <laughs> hey, hey, I like DMRs. Like I genuinely like DMRs. This thing is abysmal. I just I can't see a world where I would ever recommend anyone using that thing. That thing is a trash. Maybe if it's maybe if it's fully leveled at some point, but like I can't I can't see that being that being usable at all. There's just no point. L chat, that sucks. I was kind of hoping it was going to be like good, but what's the MP7 now? Is the MP7 the stinger or is it the it's a stinger, right? Is this thing right? I like the look of this purple hollow. It actually looks kind of clean. What do you think about the main clicks um, on the uh, on the OP one? Uh, I've had a high, high lighter version, just like a softer tactile bump. That makes sense. Um, I feel like the main clicks in OP one OK are pretty good. I think there there is some. I did notice there is some variance in it with depending on how the switches are screwed in. I did notice there's a little bit of variance there, but aside from that, it's been pretty consistent for me at least. That guy just ate every single shot. Every single shot. That was actually crazy. Yeah, I, I think, because I did notice that, like, so depending on how the clicks are positioned into the shell, I stuck that too. Depending on how the clicks are stuck into the shell, they can feel a little weird sometimes, um, but it's a pretty small variance from what I found. Shot. M1 gear is mild better. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, full auto M1 is way better than that thing. But even that, like again, rifles in this game are just very bad. <laughs> uh never change thumbtacks, never change. The fact that you could run around with a semtex like this and just like cook it forever is so dumb. I do not remember my thing having this much recoil. Damn, I think fried me. Yeah, so I'm gonna make sure this is nice and flat. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, because like if they're not screwed in properly, they can be a little wacky sometimes. I did notice that. Um, cutting model look for press steady shot. Is that an ADS or hip fire builds? Because I, pre I prefer hip fire build, um, ADS builds, sorry. Ah, he has immunity pain. M1 is also fire damage in RPM. Yeah, it's true as well. Oh. I don't remember my gun having this much recoil. I think the build... I think I must have messed up the build somehow. Pain, I suck. I feel like I, this build doesn't make sense. Okay, hold on. Uh, Coyote monolithic. Hey, I was gonna say, why am I using this? Monolithic silencer, compressed grip. Wait, compressed grip. Compressed grip. Uh, compressed grips, extended stock, and steady shot. Okay, I'm actually using a pretty pretty close to that already. Actually, what is it? what is it? Compressed grip. Oh yeah, this yeah, this is one of the older builds I was using. Yeah, I forgot I took off the marksman barrel and put on the compressed grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually a build I used a while ago. Oh yeah, doesn't this turn into a, like a laser beam? Wow, that guy killed me. That's crazy.
Yes, this is, I forgot. This is the build that turns into a laser beam. I forgot. Uh, I forgot that uh, marksman barrel is the bad one on this gun. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I don't think I've used this stinger since I unlocked gold on it. It's been so long. Where is everybody? POV, I suck. Yeah, I suck. I'm trash. I feel like for, I feel like for whatever reason, like my ADS scaling is bugged because like I remember my ADS scaling used to be way higher and it's like super slow now for some reason. I don't know why. sad bro really thought I wouldn't know that area ah oh, he's right there that sucks hold on chat I need to like adjust my hold on chat remind me to up my ADS sensitivity just like a tiny bit I feel like for whatever reason it changed I don't know why No, he has spawn immunity, damn it. Hold on, chat. Let me uh let me just up the um, what was this? 35. Oh shit. Uh let me put this to 40, see if it feels a little better. <laughs> yeah, blame it on the mouse pad. No, I've noticed it on a bunch of other things too. Just for whatever reason, this feels really slow. I, I think they changed something with that. I don't know what they changed, but it feels weird. Or has felt weird for a while. I deserve that kill. That's much better. I like running, I like running a fat, I like, I like running a really fast ADS sensitivity. Like I'll play 40 centimeter regularly, but I want my, like, I usually prefer my, um, my ADS to be around like 37 or like 30 CM. Yeah. Okay. We got this guy now. Yeah. Here, look at this. Look at this guy. Back shield, MP7, laggy. No, it's awesome. That isn't that so fun when your when your lobby gets immediately filled with a like a P6 using the most broken things in the game, who's also laggier than anyone else in the lobby, and you can't kill them because they're so laggy. Isn't that fun? Okay. How is that guy not dead? I'm dead. Yeah, I can't do anything there. Chat, I keep saying it's so ever I keep I, how many times have I said this, chat? If this game was running on a better engine, this game would be the best game out right now. How yeah, back shield saves this guy again. And got it. Okay, cool. That's fun. That should have been a stick, but okay, it worked. Lol. Why does that happen? Okay, cool. Chat, I'm not gonna lie, this game is lagging like crazy today. This is probably the laggiest it's been in a while. And he lives from the explosion he's sitting on because he's using a back shield. Got it. Thank God, I actually want it. It's a miracle. And 
he has spawn immunity for some godforsaken reason, even though he's 500 meters out of spawn. Double stick. Double stick chat. <laughs> yeah, very normal. Chat, we may not be on bad business very long today. This is getting kind of scuffed already. I think we're off this pretty quick today, chat. I'm not really too uh, into getting trolled by people just sweating in this game today. Not really interested. And you get saved by your teammate. Yeah, of course you do. Of course he does. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, the cringe never goes away, chat. And he has a judge. Yeah, okay, cool. Man, our lobbies were, like, pretty good today. And then just, like, they just got super bad in, like, us, like, skits, like, a couple minutes. Pretty fun. Was it four? See, like, chat this... Like, I, I just don't... I Like, okay, I know I'm complaining here, but I just genuinely don't understand how things like the back shield are still in the game. Like, they're so unhealthy for the game. Like, why are they still in the game at all? I mean, to be fair, why is this game still on Roblox when it should be on another engine is also a completely valid question at this point. Why does this guy have a back shield that absorbs 50% of my shots for no reason is also another fantastic question. Yeah. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're done with bad business already today. I'll be honest with you, I have zero interest in playing against people just running, crutching, insta heal, and back shields today. I just I'm good, honestly. I'm good. I like I'm I'm I, I'm just. Of course, my hand cam's not working. Honestly, I'm good. Like honestly, at this point, I feel like the best thing to do to cheat to devs that like this is like they can't balance their game to save their fucking lives is to just not play the game when they when people like that join the server. Like there's no point. It just it's it's a waste of time. Like if I wanted to have like just, there, there's no point. There's genuinely no point. It's just, it's so frustrating. I, if that stuff wasn't in the game, I'd happily play it more. I have no interest in playing against that. I was like, why would I play against a, a person? When I shoot them, half of my bullets don't register because they have a shield on their back when I'm shooting them in their skull and they can run away, insta-heal, and reach out within three seconds at full HP before I can even reload. I, it just, it's just not fun. It's just not fun. It's just not enjoyable. So we, t we hope we teach the devs that they can't balance their game for shit by not playing their game when those people join the lobby and eventually maybe it'll click in their heads that maybe they have to balance their game. But I don't think that's going to happen, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, okay, what else can we do today? Um, let me think here. I'll be honest with you, I'm actually kind of feeling some risk of rain. I'm feeling risk of rain today. I don't know why. I can do risk of rain. You know what? Let's do some risk of rain today. I, I don't know. I'm just feeling a chill game today, but that's not bullshitty. <laughs> Man, it's so sad. It's honestly, chat, how much money would we have to raise to like buy the rights for bad business from the devs and just like force them to make the game in another engine? Like how much do you think we're talking? Like there's no way that game's actually making that much money based off of a four man team running on Roblox. Like there's no way, like you don't need to pay money to play the game. Like there's no way that that game's actually making the money, right? No shot, right? Overwatch 2? No, we do not do Overwatch 2. No, Overwatch 2 is a... Overwatch 2 is a death sentence. If I'm already tilted from playing 20 bucks, yeah, literally, I could probably give them a... I could probably give them, like, a fucking whopper from Burger King and they'd probably sell the rights to the game at this point. Um... Over to Minus Watch Two. Uh, Overwatch Two is a game that is very frustrating for me to play. Well, okay, well we'll do it. We'll do a couple. We'll do a little bit of Risk of Rain. We'll see how how this goes, and then we'll go to we'll go to Overwatch Two after if this game goes that poorly. 
It literally, literally, the noisemaker is like the only thing that's made them money in like God knows how long. CS2? Nah, I don't want to play against a bunch of... I, if I wanted to play against a bunch of cheaters, I would just keep... Like, I just would rather just play, keep playing bad business. There's, like, I might as well... It's the same thing on... Uh, same thing on uh, CS2. I don't know. Actually, chat, you want to know something funny? This game is actually a game that I use for testing products a lot because it's a game I'm very familiar with and it's a game that's like, I, it's just very easy for me to do testing on. I'll try and make it, I'll try and make it like a little more watchable for you guys. Valorant? I do, I do like Valorant. Uh, the only problem is, is that because of, um, have you re reinstalled already? Yeah, I reinstalled a little while ago. Um, the problem with Valorant is that because I live in Canada, all the servers are in the States. So the problem is, is that basically on the weekends when there's a lot of people online, my ping goes from like 60 to 90 and my packet loss triples. So if I want to play Valorant on the weekends, I have to play like really late at night or else my packet loss is just out the wall and the game is just incredibly frustrating. Which really sucks. Wow, we have two AP. We're going to like absolutely shred this boss whenever we do find it. A hey, needle tick is a great item to have first off. That's actually a really good item. Hoopa feather is also really good. Okay, wait, we actually have like really good items. Where's T? Oh, TP is all the way over there. Fuck, okay. I was gonna buy this turret, but if the TP is all the way over there, it's no point. Okay, we are going to like absolutely shred this box. We have two AP. We're gonna like rip this thing apart. Man, chat, this is just like a fun, like just like chill game. That's just like it's not like it's still hard. It's still very aim intensive, but like it's not like tilty and unbalanced. If that makes sense. Also, it's like kind of like the you know what this game reminds me of. It's like very much like Binding of Isaac, where it's just like that kind of like you need to know what the items do and that kind of a thing. I would risk of rain never played it. It's it's very much like Gunfire Reborn. It's very similar, just more PVE focused. It, it's it, like Risk of Rain 2 is like easily one of my favorite games of all time. I played a lot of this game. And this game still kicks my ass. You have nine ping? Oh my god, I wish. Well, okay, I've been trying I, I've been wanting I don't know why Riot hasn't added in Canadian servers yet, but like if they actually added Canadian servers, I would literally have two ping, because I live like right next to an Amazon cl uh, server cluster. And then uh, Riot uses AWS for their servers. So like I could literally have Oh I'm scared. I need I, I need to run away from that. I could literally have two ping if I wanted to. It would have been so nice. But they just don't want to give put servers in there for some reason. I don't know why. I, I, what did I say, Chad? We're gonna melt that boss because we have two AP. Yeah, we got book. Ugh. Of course, Toma's ass. I heard something spawn, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, there you are. Hello. Chat, what is that? That is a medical drone? Yeah, it's, oh, it's gunner drone. Okay, we don't care about that. Yeah, I've actually I've actually been wanting to play Gunfire Reborn as well. There's another game as well I'm really interested in playing. I'm really interested in checking out um, um, Hyper Light Breaker because I loved Hyper Light Drifter. That was like one of my favorite games. Loved Hyper Light Drifter. Especially like the ambience that game was just so cool. Um, I really like that game, but now they have like a Risk of Rain-esque style version of that. Um, and I'm excited. To, I really would like to try that. I feel like lowish. Well, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yuki, like, or Yukai, sorry, I apologize. Literally, like high, like low ping in Valorant is like low-key trolling because low, like when it comes to like the ping comparisons, for whatever reason, Valorant will favor the person with the higher ping over the lower ping every time, which is just so dumb. Because, like, I'll play against people with, like, 120 ping who will, like, literally Ferrari peak every angle and one-tap me constantly, even though I shoot their head every time. Like, I don't know what it is about Valor, but it just has, like, this weird compensation where, like, low ping is almost, like, worse for you. I don't understand it. 
I've been trying to like figure out what causes it, but I just like, I genuinely can't figure it out. But like, the weird thing is like, if I play on Illinois on a good day, I can get like 22, 25 ping. I have better, like I play better and have better hit reg on, um, on like Texas servers where I have like 80 ping. It, it makes no sense. And like, I just, I've never figured out why they, why it's like that. Well, it's not even that. Like I'll just get like, it, it just, it's just like the way the game like, gives like it, i just i just don't understand what it is but like i'll shoot someone in the head it'll just no reg completely and they'll miss me and it will still hit like it just i never understood it yeah the ferrari peak yeah or like why like it's just it's so weird like i just like I, the amount of like no regs i have in valorant is just insane and I don't, and the weird thing is I don't have that problem with Overwatch. It's only, oh, this is a really bad, oh, okay. This is actually very bad. We need to kill this extremely quickly. Oh dear God in heaven. Nope, that's bad. That's very bad. Yeah, chat, we may die here. I need this thing to die immediately. Wait, it actually saved me there. We need to like hug this banner as much as we can. Please no LOS. Oh my God, that counted. Okay, good. Yeah, that's very scary because the EMP there can like insta pop us very easily. Okay, this is not fun. I do not like blind pests. That was a great nade, actually. W nade. Anyways, yeah, no, Valorant's just a little weird. Like, I find, like, I have to play at certain times of the day for my hit reg to actually work. It's just, it's very annoying. And it's only Valorant, too. Like, in other games, well, like, to be fair, Split Gate also had that problem, but Split Gate also just had, like, the worst netcode known to mankind. It was abysmal. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. Is there anything good over there? Oh, anyway, let me go pop this question mark. I actually, yeah, I played X Defiant. X Defiant was fun, except the netcode was dog shit bad it was so bad the game was fun though i'm I, w I will i will definitely play x defiant for sure when it does eventually come out but god man the like a year ago the beta test for that one was who the netcode was so bad oh hold on chat one second i gotta parents are calling me give me one second sorry one second chat Sorry, I'm back to my bad. Yeah, like, the, honestly, I'd, I'm okay with X Defiant, like, doing a very slow release cycle, like, what they're doing. Like, I'm okay with that. I'd rather they do it right than, like, release it too early and have it just be, like, absolutely, like, effed. Like, I'm okay with how they're doing it. It just, I, I admit it sucks waiting, like, a year and a half for a game that should have come out a long time ago. Oh, God. Yeah, everything here can just F right off, honestly. I knew you were behind me too.
how many void things are there? My God. Good Lord in heaven. Ow, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Chad, this stage, this stage is the worst stage. I just need to kill these damn things, but I, I just can't because they're... Hey, what's up? Thank you very much for subscribing, uh, so, so I appreciate it. Ow, that hurt. All right, chat, so here's the problem with Needle Tech. If we get hit, all of our damage goes away. So we need to, we basically just need to not get hit by anything. So we have to basically play the game perfectly, which is doable, except when everything in here heals and has homing rockets. Okay, thank you. Okay, that. Okay, cool, that works. Uh, where's the last Voidlings? Are you kidding me? It's all these? Yeah, hopefully X Defiant will be good. I have high hopes for that game, but again, I'm kind of like... I high, high, have high hopes for it, but I'm also kind of like a little... I'm obviously a little pessimistic about it as well. What the fuck? Oh, you better not. These things are literally the hardest thing in the game to hit, chat. No, no word of a lie. Oh, it's this thing. POV, you just tried to clear one Void Seed? Thank you. Good lord. Is there four Void things here? Holy shit. Okay, wait, that's actually kind of crazy. Well, the problem is we don't have healing for this. Okay, that's actually goaded for us. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, chat, we're going to get kind of zany here. We probably shouldn't be taking this many void items, but F it. We're going to take as many void items. Okay, that was actually pretty smart. Are you kidding me? Ubisoft can't trust them. Oh, 100%. Like, I, I, I trust the team behind it, but it's just like, I just, I don't know. I've been burned so many times with the other game devs it's like it just i don't know it's like a, a great example of how this how it could go is like split game like split game was a great idea and was really like a really cool executed idea that had like a real a lot of potential but the devs just squandered the potential so hard and like i'm concerned it's going to be like that like at least they're doing the right thing and taking time to release it but it's just it still sucks that we have to wait for so long for it i'm hoping it's like complete when it comes out i I'd be shocked if it isn't, but I mean, you know, we'll see. What is that? That's a printer for, that's actually pretty good for us. Let me go and take this. Of course I took my harvester, harvester scythe, the one good green I have first, but that's fine. Chad, where's the red, Chad, do you see red sparkles anywhere? Where the hell is this TP? What is that? That's a old guillotine. Wait, that's actually really good. And that is banner. Okay, that's actually insane for us. Hold on. Guillotine's actually nuts. I'm gonna get two of these. Where the hell is this TP? Chad, if you see like red sparkles on the screen, let me know. I, that... They'll be kind of far away, but that's what we need to find gotta be down it's gotta be like under or something in like some really stupid place it's not where the hell is this tp yeah no i hear you that's the thing valorant's kind of like starting to get a little old for me as well like i can only play it so much where is this tp oh it's over there i walked right past it i'm a fucking idiot oh there's the lull okay well at least we got a harder harvester site back that's sweet Okay, on the plus side, we have the we have this thingy, so this will just kill whatever the boss is here, because it's I'm just don't want to fight whatever this is going to be. Probably it's going to be sand uh, the um, sand dune thingies, yeah, clay dune strider. Goodbye.
Okay, chat, I was supposed to drop an item, but I don't see an item. Got hit by something and I'm really hurt. I don't know what it was, but... I need to kill all these, like, little things first. Run away from that. It's gonna suck everything up. Where was the item, boss item? Chat, that's get scammed. It's supposed to give me a boss item. It gave me nothing. I think I just got scammed. Oh yeah, you can fuck right off. That thing can just go die. Okay, so it gave okay, it gave us the thing. Okay, that's fine. I feel like it was supposed to give us two, but it didn't for some reason. I don't know what happened. It like didn't spawn. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. We got two. Wait, two my two mired urns. That is actually crazy for us. That's actually really good. All right. This is a good run. The two mired urns gives us gives us like a lot of survivability, but I don't know. We did spend a lot of time on that stage, so I think we gotta like get through this one as soon as possible. Did we just rush TP chat? I think we just rush TP. Unless I see something insane we need, I think we just go. Oh, that's bad. Well, this needs to die first. Chad, this thing can insta-tap us, like, easily. We, this thing could easily kill us, so we just need to be very careful of this. The nice thing about this thing, chat, is that, like, the, the urns keep us tapped up on HP, like, regardless if we're getting swarmed, which is nice. And it helps us, like, finish off low-health enemies pretty easily. That needs to die, like, immediately. Uh, pray how that hit us a little bit. That sucks. Dear lord, that thing has way too much HP. More AP. The game just is, like, giving us endless supplies of AP, which, I mean, hey, I, like, I'm not going to complain about too much. I'll take AP, but I just wish it worked on these fuckers. All right, chat, what do you think? Probably Lava Worm for boss or to, to another giant imp? Another imp. Fuck. Oh, we just beat one. Oh, dear lord in heaven. Yep, okay, that's bad. Is there two? Well, there's two of them. Great, that's awesome. Yeah, this is not a good spawn. This is not what we want to see. This is very bad. Is Risk of Rain half- I actually don't know. I If it is, get it. It's a really good game. It's worth it. Ow, that hurt. Yep, that's... I, you would I like you would I like you would I like um yeah this is yeah this is the second one yeah you would you what I like about this game chat is that like this game is just like it's it's not like it's like predictable but it's just like a consistent game for just like t testing stuff that's why I like it so much just because it's fun to like get new mics and just play this game just because like it's fun to aim in it I don't know I wish they added like a lightning gun character though like a quake character that'd be so fun how quickly do we kill enemies if we just like Touch him with the, the suck. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We need, like, some way of shielding right now. That's, like, our biggest problem. Aye, that hurt. Oh, that's, uh, Encrusted Key. Wait, actually, we should take that. Chat, remind me to grab that before we go. Dear God, what the fuck is this? Like, nah, what the hell? Uh, oh yeah, second needle tick, easy. 
Oh wait, sorry, that was wrong. I fuck it was shrimp. I took the wrong thing. L. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Literally the most annoying part of this and that, that entire stage is those little shrimp things. Literally the most annoying part right there. Okay, what horrifying thing is spawned here to screw me over? What, what is it going to be this time? I'm assuming it's going to be a contraption, but we got, could be wrong. Why is there nothing here? Is that a tri-tip printer? Oh my god, it is. Wait, that's actually massive for us. Okay, wait, chat. We're going to do we're going to do a little bit of a throw here. Oh, it's a damn, it's a crowbar. Fuck, that would have been so much better if it wasn't. Oh, that's what spawned. It's the million guffs. Got it. Correction, it's a overloaded healing guff. Got it. Well, GG to my poor turret. This thing's about to get, like, absolutely slammed. Holy mother of God, where did you come from? And I'm dead. GG. Where did that thing come from? Yeah, we need to kill this because this is healing everything else, but it like I literally Oh dear fucking god, what the hell? Oh, it's the gup version of the stage. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, chat, this is the version of this where the only the gups spawn. This is bad. This is very bad. Gups are very hard to kill, especially this thing. We need this thing to die, like now. Actually, this thing should have died like five seconds ago. Please die. And it's going to split into more tiny healing ones. Of course it is. Great. This is literally the worst possible. Like, this is the worst possible thing I could have spawned here. Like, I would have rather taken anything else. This is the worst thing. And it splits into smaller ones. Dear fucking god. Oh my god. Games. Really? 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 We're doing this now. Okay. You, you, the... And this is where the trollness of Risk of Rain 2 comes in. There's no shot. It's still alive. There's four tiny ones healing it. I can't kill it. I'm dead. I'm actually dead, I think. Just die already. Dear God. Oh, fuck me. That hurt. Yep. Dude, the, the, that is the most obscene thing I think I've seen spawn in this lower stages in a long time. That is just evil. And it's still healing. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still healing. How is it still alive? Thank you. Okay, now I can actually maybe kill this thing. Oh, no, more spawn. Great. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I, I'm out of here. Yeah, no way. I'm out. We we, uh, we out, chat. We big out. I'm, I'm out. I literally... If I sit here and kill all these, I'm going to be here all day. I literally just need to run. That's so stupid. Jeez. I didn't know the healing versions of that thing were, like, that strong. I knew they were strong. I just didn't know they were, like, that strong. Warhorn is awful, unfortunately. That's really bad. Okay, I'm gonna run to here. What is this? This is a red printer. Oh my god, it's a clover printer? Holy moly. Chad, if I die, remind, remember that I did that and just blame me for killing myself, right? Because that's gonna kill us. Uh, what would make the most sense here? Um, okay, I'll take this just for the memes. Might as well. Oh my god, energy... Oh my god, I need one gasoline. Okay, chat, wait, okay. We're gonna do something a little throwy here. We're gonna do something stupid. We're gonna skip this stage because this is good enough for us to potentially, like, negate this, this entire area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that hurt. Yep, that big, big hurt. Big hurt. Can you stop spawning these fucking things on me, please? Okay, chat, we're gonna do something dumb here, okay? We're gonna do something kind of stupid. Oh my god. 
god, this fucking game. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna say this. Whoever decided to put the Gup stage as level five, just, just, no, no, just, just no. That is the hardest to beat stage I think I've ever seen in my life. That's like, that's literally like, you cannot win that. Like you could have a God run and you, and then there's no way you're winning that. That's actually crazy. Like, yeah, I threw a little bit, but I need like the idea I had was to go take the gas canisters and then go do our command artifact. That would be like really strong, but we just got overwhelmed. That's really annoying. All right, well, we go again. Smile. That's that's a shame. That was actually a pretty decent run. More AP, lol. Think. Uh, where is TP probably going to spawn? TP is probably going to be far, if I'm not mistaken. It could be close. It could be like the closed area, but I don't. I don't think so. I don't think it's open on this version of the stage. What is that? It's a IP printer. That's pretty useless. Soldier syringe is amazing. That's awesome for us. Okay, TP's right below us. Okay, I think we farm here for some items. Was that that steak? That's not really useful. I'm gonna sit. Here. I just want to get the crit glasses, and then we're gonna go. I'm not gonna waste too much time here. That's an elite perfect. It's actually just what I needed. Okay, grab these. That should be good. Kill that. Down here. Repulsion jump. Okay, we get blue portal off this too, which is actually pretty good. Vagrant is the worst possible option here. The problem is, Chad, is when it's flying, there's not really a lot you can do in terms of, like, damage to this thing, because, like, you're just kind of stuck trying to, like, kite it. We need to get, we just need to, we just need to keep it positioned in an area where we can hide behind this tree when it eventually goes for its EMP. Okay, good there. Please don't hit me. It should be an easy boss. Nice. Easy. Ooh, wait, that's actually really good. Okay. Well, okay. Not really good, but out of all the options, that's pretty good for what we could have gotten. That's like one of the most satisfying things to do, chat. You do the grenade rush. So like you throw a grenade, like you throw a grenade and you dash into the grenade. Cause you don't do self damage. Actually, that'd be kind of cool if you could do self damage with the grenades. You could like use it to like do movement stuff. That'd actually be kind of cool. Do I mess around with blue portal? Yeah, let's do it. F it. What could possibly go wrong with going through blue portal on stage one with no items? What could possibly go wrong? Totally not going to instantly. Actually, hold on, chat. Wait, actually, we have Genesis Loop. Okay, hold on, chat. Here, here's the play. The environment in this area upcoming kills you, but I could technically loop and kill everything with Genesis Loop over and over again. So if I like, if I keep my health around 20 the whole time, I could theoretically clear this. But the problem is, is I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna die waiting for my health to regen. Okay, let's try it. We. This is theoretical. Theoretically possible. To a degree. Probably should have saved that for when I could heal, but that's okay. Uh, what, Bison first? Eey, that's not a good start. Bison is scary for a first item. AP plate, okay, that's fine. Could be worse. So chat, so this is called the Void Fields. This is like an optional secret area you can go to. The problem is that the environment hurts you. 
So you have to stay inside these domes, but every single every single time you hit one of these cells, it either gives you a new enemy or gives the enemies a new item, and it can get very bad very fast. To the point where these can become explosive on contact nuclear bombs that run at you constantly. It goes pretty bad pretty quick. I hear one, but it's like up there somewhere, I think. Okay, it spawned out there, that's fine. Uh, the problem is, is we have the worst spawn for this of like all time, because we are in the middle of nowhere. We don't know where the next one is. Oh, next one's not even on my radar. Oh, okay. oh, it's all the way over there. Chat, we made we honestly made us die here actually. Just bad seed. It's the farthest one. That's my second one. Oh my god, game, you are you are kidding me right now. Yeet. All right, well, we have to beat this with 53 HP. What could possibly go wrong? To be fair, they just okay, that'd be a useless item. Okay, so this is actually doable then. Okay, they're actually actually doable. There we go. As long as we don't as long as we don't get like snuck up on one, we're okay. He looks so goofy. Look at him. Not a thought in the world. Bro's just chilling. Oh, there's two of them up there. I'm really glad he didn't go off the side because I need his money. Okay, well, on the plus side, we've knocked out, like, with this one and the other one, we, these are the two, like, weirdest positioned ones in the entire game. So this is actually good in terms of us, find, like, not getting trolled, but, like, one that's, like, really far away. Uh, I'll take stun grenade. What is that printer? Shipping request form. That's interesting. I don't know how useful that's going to be for us, but it's a potential. Okay, beetles and... Okay, that's fine. This, this is fine. This is one of the better ones, too, because it's pretty easy to lob the grenades down here. This is actually pretty winnable. The nice thing about this tall one here is that everything has to go up this area to get to you, so you don't really have stuff spawn behind you that often, which is nice. But you are kind of limited with how much you can actually shoot up here. I wish I had more grenades, that'd be great. Oh, one actually made it up, wow. That was easy. Okay, um, let me see here. This is, uh, we take teddy bear. I think a teddy bear makes the most sense here. This crowbar printer is very interesting. I'm kind of tempted to take it. Okay, they got repulsion plate. That's okay, but that uh, GG we win. We just got we just got the one item that wins here. Perfect. Okay, this is good. So fungus is good because if you're standing still, you heal. So this way we can heal in between rounds completely, which is good. And we can also abuse Genesis Loop this way a lot more, which is also very nice. That pro that one item probably just won us the game there, or at least at least won us like this section. Uh, it's pretty hard to die here with the fungus. Unless you get, like, really, like, messed up. Wow, the AP is going insane. Wait, can I not kill them? Okay, I was, a. Uh... I thought for a second they were immune, but no, they're good. I am doing one damage, though, so that's very bad. Okay, maybe these are a little scarier than I thought. Oh, chat, I'm doing one damage to everything, chat. Okay, never mind. We, uh, never mind. I think we actually just lost, because the APs are actually making us do one damage. That is horrifying. Uh, take tri-tip. 
here, I think. Yeah, that is really unfortunate. That's uh, really troll, actually. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's also decent, I guess. Oy. Okay, this is going to get a little spicy. Another crowbar printer. That's weird. I wonder why there's so many on the stage. Is there anything I don't want here? Um... Yeah, not gonna lie, chat, the only way we do damage is if we're getting crits right now, which is not good. We're gonna get swarmed really fast. I mean, to be fair, we do have three crit goggles, which is like a godsend right now, but that's still not very good. Yeah, we need our crits to go way up right now. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this, is, this is very bad. I need, like, somebody to break their armor. I need, like, I need, like, tri-tip or, like, something just to break armor if I can. Like, we still do enough damage to everything to kill it, but it's just a matter of, like, time to kill as goes up, which is very bad for us here. I.e., that's so bad. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, that did not just happen to me. Oh, I think we just died. I think we just lose off of that, right? I think we just lose... Wow, that was probably the... Are you kidding me? Really? Chad, that was probably the worst possible thing that could happen. Yeah, that was the worst possible thing that could have happened. Oh my god, there's so much stuff out here. I just need to get back... I just need to get back, get back to the cell as quickly as possible. There is no way I just got trolled that bad. If we can recover this, we're, like, insane. Holy shit, we recovered that. Jesus. Yeah, no, that was insane. Um, This is nuts for us right now. Okay, this is still winnable. This is still winnable, but we have to, like, we have to play this perfectly. We cannot make any mistakes. Um, like, we, we need to do this perfectly. Banner is insane for us here. We are going to be relying on Genesis Loop a lot for our damage here. Okay, let me heal up and start this at full HP, because we're going to need it. Yeah, that was a bad dodge for me. I dodged up and it, like, yeeted me off the side of the stage. That, that could have gone so bad. Oh, dear fucking God. Yeah, no, thank you. No shurikens. That's really bad. Thankfully, I don't think anything actually shoots a projectile until they actually fire. So as long as we kill it before it shoots us, we're okay. Hey, like, we're doing, we're doing four damage now, chat. That's good. Cheeky little dodge there. So the shurikens chat um, are a projectile that these things shoot that will probably one-tap me. If I'm being completely honest. Oh, dear God. Yep, okay, this is getting a little tight. Anyway, this is actually okay. You know what? I've, you know what? I've had worse. This is... Dear fucking God. You know what? All things could get... <laughs> it's gonna... It's gonna take a break. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, we somehow lived. How do we live? Oh my god. There's no way we lived. Holy shit. Okay. Winnable chat. Winnable. Winnable. Actually winnable. Actually winnable. Uh, this is called Risk of Rain 2, Julian. It's a roguelike FPS game. It's probably more like one of the best games that's been out for a very long time. Great game. Are you fucking kidding me? Nah, no, 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 no. Chat, these things are the worst enemies in the game. They they detonate on you. They, they're like little homing bombs. Oh, fuck off. Okay, thank God they still die really quick, really quick. And they throw shurikens now. That's really awesome. Okay, we're going to hide here. No, mind, we're not going to hide here. Just kidding. Uh, that was a cool concept until everything happened. All right, we need uh, Genesis Loop to come in real clutch here in like two seconds. Chat. 
Type one if you think I'm chat. Type one if you think I'm living through this somehow. Any 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 believers in chat? Laser, dodge that, dodge out of the way of that. To kill this. Need to stun you so you don't shoot me. Stun the other one. Chad, this is peak risk risk of rain gameplay here. I that thing still hit me. Bro hit me mid mid slide. I was cha cha. Oh my god. Did you see how many lasers were just looking at me? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. All right, we did it, chat. We're, we're still alive somehow. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually insane. All right. Um. Yeah, we're fucked. Okay. <laughs> we're so fucked. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. There's no way we do this. Chat, there was literally six lasers of me at one time there. That was horrifying. Okay, they have Chrono Bobble. Okay, they actually got a bad item for once. This is actually winnable. Okay, actually winnable, they have a bad item. They got one bad item. Okay, actually they've had two bad items, but still. I need these things to die. This is the most bad, most, most bad, the one for you. Literally, yeah, of course. Take that, Shroud. Not me just being like an absolute god in this game. I hate not doing, I hate doing one damage to everything. It's so annoying. Oh, dear God, that hurt a lot. Okay, we need to try and heal if we can. This stun grenade I picked up is putting in work for us right now. Like, this stun grenade is genuinely carrying right now. Holy mother of God, where did you come from? Okay, the laser boys have a lot. I've never arrived. This is very bad. Okay, oh my God, teddy bear just saved our lives. Chad, did you see the teddy bear block that one laser? Okay, we just need to stay in the circle and stay alive as long as we can. That's all that matters. Just stay alive in the circle. Okay, we actually lived. It's a miracle. Uh, okay, yeah, we're GG. Uh, okay, last open one was top here. We have to do open here. Okay, chat, this is probably going to be the worst one here. This is, this is going to be super hard because they spawn here, here, and here. This is going to be really hard. They have chains. Oh, God. All right, Chad, this is the last one. Last one, Chad. Type one if you believe. Or type zero if I'm just dead. I pre preemptively start typing the Fs just because I'm probably going to die. The chance of me getting alive through this is pretty much, like, very, very low. Unless I cheese this shit out of this, which I could do. Actually, do I have to do enough damage to cheese this? I do. Wait, Chad, we can do the thing. Aside from him, he can just... Oh god, nope, that's really bad. Okay, the lasers are the problems. We need to keep the laser guys stunned if we can. That's like the problem. We just need to like randomly hit them with a bullet and pray it stuns them. Oh, the slow. <gasps> the quarter bubble slow. No, I said the item was useless. It's actually so good. No! Are you kidding me? You spawned me here? What the fuck is that? Wait, it spawned me on the other side of the map. Oh, no, 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 no. That just spawned me on the other side of the map. It was supposed to TP me back into the circle. There's no shot. Oh, I just got trolled. Okay, that's great. Hey, what's up? Okay, the mouse is the endgame gear OP1 AK. Uh, I'm just messing around with this one today. I cannot believe I just got trolled that hard. That's actually disgusting. Okay, one more chat, one more run. I love how we lost that, not because we played bad, because we got trolled by the respawn system. Because it literally spawned us on the other side of the map. That's awesome. We actually would have won that too, because if I spawn back, if I spawn back inside the circle, because if you fall off the map, you spawn with you respawn with one HP. But if I respawned in the circle, I wouldn't have had tick damage from the environment, and I could have gone gotten, gotten Genesis Loop off, and like I actually could have won. But. The game had other plans apparently. Also, Teddy Bear could have Teddy Bear could have also prevented that proc as well. But just 
RNG just was not in our favor. That uh, was not in our favor. All right, let me uh, let's go see if we can get this out. Oh, cool. It's right here. W. Okay, that makes that easy. It's a really annoying boss to have right here, but whatever. It's fine. I'm going to see if I can get if I can get up on top of them, then we're, we're chilling. Okay, we're going to have to do that a lot sooner than I thought we're going to have to do. Ow, 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 ow. He's shooting me through the floor. Got it. I heard a blind pest somewhere. I just didn't know where it, don't know where it is. Oh, it's right there. There it is. The blind pass we have to kill immediately. Now we gotta keep moving so it doesn't hit us with the missile rockets. And it hit us with two of them. GG. <laughs> this fucking game. Dude. Ah, uh, uh, thanks, Risk of Raid. Look at this. Look at this shit, chat. Wrecked. Thank, thank, thanks, game. Hey, what's up, Kali? How's it going? Oh my god, I'm getting trolled so hard today. Chat, do we try a different character? All right, well, let's do the let's do the sniper character chat. Do some actual other aiming on this game. Do a good day. Glad to hear. It. Glad to hear it. We're uh, grinding some risk of pain today since bad business was like unplayable today. I'm really upset that I got a bison steak as my first item. Not happy about that. What is that? That is a stun grenade printer that is potentially usable. Probably not, but you never know. There's a blood shrine now we're talking. Hey, dude, if, if Bad Bits is actually ran properly and I can actually snipe in that game, I would. But I can't because it just runs so bad. There's two Blood Shrines here? Okay, that's a little excessive. Oh, literally. Oh, literally. They're, everyone was saying that the new, like, the new carbine rifle is, like, super broken. Like, half the bullets don't even register. Like, you shoot someone and, like, it's, like, a 50-50 chance it's actually going to reg. Um, yeah, that's a good item. We just need, like, uh, we need, okay, chat, what, okay, you have we've seen on every single one of our other runs, we've seen a crowbar printer. We need a crowbar printer. That's what we need, but I don't think we're gonna get one. Is this, oh, hey, crowbar, chat, pog. I tried it. It, it, it was awful when I tried it. The thing sucked. Like, I'm not sure if I was just like, like, cause like, it just, the hit reg is so inconsistent. It just like, it like, it hit sometimes, but like most of the time it just didn't do anything. Uh, oh, perfect. The fungus, I was literally, I was like, oh, I've, all we need now is a fungus and so we're chilling. I don't know why I bought that in case it's something good. No, Goobar Jr. is useless. Okay, that's fine. Either two shot body enemy or get, yeah, no, literally. I know it one taps headshots within like a certain range, but like, I don't know. It just, it just didn't seem that good to me. Actually, we could maybe cheese Gubo here a little bit. Um, let me see how this works in terms of layout. Okay, this is gonna be really cheesy. I got shoved out of the way by the ball. Come on, man. Dude, give me something today, game. Fuck. I'm getting like just nothing. Chat, why why are we getting why are we getting trolled today? 
close range one tap oh yeah yeah close but well, that's the thing it's close range like the game is so just like eh, a lot of the time with hit reg like, it just it doesn't make sense I, yeah literally dude i was literally saying like man like all these guns at bad business would just feel so much better if they ported the game to a real engine and not just like dog shit roblox like if they actually if they actually like ported the game over to a new engine it would be so much better like if they ported that to ue5 or unity that game would be like amazing three blood shrines holy moly three blood shrines is insane I just, uh, I just don't know if I can use anything with a blood right now. Like, like, honestly speaking, if they moved the game to UE5 or Unity, that would be probably one of the most popular games on the market right now. Like, I genuinely don't think there's anything else out there that could really compete with it, right? Like, honestly. Is that a health drone? No, it's a fucking, you know, the other one. Crunker moment? Yeah, li literally, exactly, literally, the exact, yeah, the crunker moment, 100%. I mean, crunker runs well because it's... Well, what is Krunker's engine again? I forget what Krunker's engine is. It's like WebM or something like that, right? Uh, we have some pretty bad items here. Like we have, a, there's a lot of potential for this floor, but we don't have anything we can actually use. Aha, the one little medical drone hidden back here is exactly what we needed. Okay, now we can start getting a little zany with this run. Okay, so let's do this. Pick this up. We're going to buy this. Of course, I don't have enough money for it, because why would I? Let's see if we can find something to kill. Okay, buy this. Made to run on potatoes. Well, that's the thing. That's what makes it run so well. Like, bad business kind of sucks because the, the game engine is just so bad. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, Roblox is kind of the same thing, but Roblox is just a little more cheese all around. Are you going to heal me, drone, or are you just going to, like, look at me? I forgot the healing drone sucked. Yeah, no, li yeah, literally. It's just, it's just the engine that makes it bad. It just sucks. Like, it's so much wasted potential with that game. That's, like, really sucks about it, I think. But it is what it is. What can you do? I remember we used to play Krunker a fair amount. Krunker was fun. Can't wait to get your hands on the Mori. It's a great pad. It's all, It's genuinely one of my favorite pads. I've probably used it a very, very long time. This is a very bad fight for us because of all the enemies in the game, this guy has a giant fucking laser that can just annihilate us. But we also do an insane amount of damage, so it doesn't matter. We play different game modes. We do literally, I played one game of bad business, like two games of bad business, and the game was just running like shit. I'm like, all right, I'm done. I'm just gonna go play this. This is like, I'm not dealing with that today. Is that a medium side? I, I, I have very big hands. I have 7.5 by 5 inch hands. Like for context, this is the OP1 AK. I just have really big hands. I think the Raven only, the Mori only comes with one size uh, anyways, if I'm not mistaken. It's not like an extra large size. At least as of right now, there's only one size. There may be more for the future, but... Chat, the Artificer is a cool character. The worst thing, though, is trying to hit Wisps. Literally the worst thing. Oh, that was a nice flick. See that shot? All right. 
Yeah, no worries. Yeah, generally I use mice that are a lot bigger. Like I usually use a Death Adder V3, but I'm still testing out the OP1 AK, so I'm just kind of messing around with that one today. Um, what is already shooting at me? Oh, it's this thing. That one tap that thing? Is that what I just saw? Um, okay, we need crowbars, chat. We did like literally, we just need crowbars. At least I hit one of those shots. Uh, actually, crit goggles are crazy, actually. Okay, um, we need to just get out of here as quick as possible. I, I, like, I have a really weird build right now, and I don't really have anything that's usable. What's this? Power elixir that is unbelievably useless. I just need some crowbars. Like, that's what I, like, would like, but I don't think we're gonna get any. Eh, Soldier Strange is actually pretty terrible for us. And any other character, I'd be like, yeah, Soldier Strange, that's awesome. This character, no thank you. Did that guy just change strafing patterns the moment I threw that at him? Of course it did. Uh, Tri-Tip's actually pretty good for us here. Oh, come on. Come on. No, no. I need like four cents. Do I get the mocha? I think I actually take the mocha. The mocha may be a little better. Okay, and then I just need to go. I just think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab this and we'll start the boss. I didn't see this damage chest. Just on the off chance it gives us like a gasoline or something, just because that. Oh <laughs> my god. Okay, chat, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking. GG, chat. GG's. All right, we have to kill everything as quick as possible. All right, chat. That is our game winning item right there. We just need to utilize it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's all good. Also, to be fair, the camera I have is a wide angle cam, so it does make things look a little bigger than it actually is. So that also could be part of it as well. So it kind of skews how everything looks a little bit. I do have very big hands, though, so it's definitely a uh, part of it. Okay, chat, we are literally dumping everything into this printer here. All we need from now is we need some, like, AoE control, and then we're chilling. Uh, I need to get more, though. We need to get, like... Uh, that's very good. Uh, we just need to grab more items... So if we have a printer on the stage chat, it doesn't even matter what items we have. It just matters of like how many whites we can get, how many we can convert. Oh my God, that doesn't do 3K damage. Drop the pad measurements. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the measurements are for the Mori V2. I think it's a four, it's like a standard size. It's not, I think it's like the standard 500 by 490. I could be wrong though. <laughs> Trust me, it is not. Yes, I'm well aware of what they say. It is not true. <laughs> See if I can get some extra money with that. Maybe I get a kill with that. That would have been cool if I hit that, but that's fine. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be spending this much time here, but the Crick Glasses printer is insanely rare, and it's worth utilizing if we can get it, so... Yeah, yeah, 490 by 420. Sorry, thank you. I, I had the wrong measurements in my head. My bad. Yeah, fairly pretty standard pad size. Nothing too crazy there. Actually, Chad, you would be you would be really crazy if we can get an ignition tank. That would be nuts. If we can get one of those, that'd be really good. Okay, I think I'm good for items. I think I'm gonna go. Actually, wait, there's a big green here. Now measure the table, see if the pad fits. <laughs> And 140 for this, eh? What is that? That is a... What is that? 
bandolier. Wait, bandolier is actually kind of insane, but uh, we would have to get a wick. Oh, we have three ice bands though. Chad, do I risk it? Yeah, I think we risk. I think it's worth the risk. Big ends of small keyboards? Yeah, that's what you meant. <laughs> okay, please don't... Okay, all right, game. You can take anything but the Will of the Wisp. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Thank you so much. Okay, and then I'm going to go tap this twice. And then we'll go trade all of our things in, and then we should be good to go. That's actually very good. All right, that's fine. Okay, so we'll have a total of... No, what the risk is. <laughs> Imagine. You know what we need, chat? We need an ignition tank. That's what I really need, because the ignition tank works naturally with the... Um... Ignition tank works networks with like the natural burn from Artificer. That's what we really need to get. I would love to get one of those if I can. Okay, put these away for later. We're going to one tap this boss like immediately because this is going to do so much damage. Okay, all right, seven quick alls. That's pretty good. All right, chat, you ready to see a boss just absolutely disappear? So we have three Runod's bands and we also have the AoE from this. This is going to do so much damage. That was 300 damage. Excuse me? How did that only do 300 damage? That should have done like at least 3,000. Thank you, that's better. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we're good. I was gonna say like, that doesn't make any sense. That should have done way more than that. <laughs> 300 damage, actual, actual robbery. How much damage does this do, theoretically speaking? Does Wall does one tap now? Well, Wall does one tap, so that's cool. <clears throat> does Wall does one tap? Yeah, Wall does one tap, so that's cool. Don't know why that's a thing, but here we are. Wall should not do that much damage, but. Yeah, right now we just need some proc. Like if we can get like some proc of some variety, like we could do like gasoline. I know I had one gasoline, but getting trading it away for the, um, the, the uh, crank goggles is better, I think. We just need to like go though, cause we're really far behind. Uh, if that one, if uh, that could have one tapped me, that genuinely could have actually one tapped me, I would have been so sad. Uh, what is this? This is the environment scanner, right? What's it going? One tapping enemies indefinitely? Yeah, pretty much. So basically, the idea is like we have controlled one tap, but we also have a lot of stall. That's like the idea. Like, basically, I just need to make sure that, like, I can one-shot enemies with this. All right, I'll see you around, Kali. Have a good one. Like, this little guy here. How is that only doing 300 damage? Wait, that's got to be a bug. I don't know how that's possible. We're only doing that little, but, I mean, Twitch their own, I guess. So like Artificer is a weird character because you have like you have damage but you also don't at the same time. It's a very weird character. It's very dependent on crowd control and which we don't have a lot of but we have really high damage. So basically I just need to make sure if I hit an enemy once that they die but we're not there yet. And of course oh okay but never mind there's a gasoline printer gg. All right, I'm going to do a stupid play. I'm literally going to sell everything for the gasolines. I know the Crick Algos are good, but these are better. So 
so the thing about artificer is that artificer has like one of the highest like proc coefficients in the game for the for the main fires but you only have four of them so you have this like giant aoe but you can only use it in some situations which makes it very odd I would like to get like a full stack of gas though. If I can get a full stack of gas. Um, 7.5 by five inch and that's really good for us actually. I don't know what that is converted to centimeters off the top of my head, but. Uh, I'm pretty good with our thing right now. I just need to get items, but there's no items here for some reason. Where the hell are all the items? Okay, there's one. There's two. What is that? That's a bison steak printer. That is a meme. We are getting like kind of trolled right now with like our overall items because like we're not really getting a lot which is really disappointing we should be getting a lot more but we're not okay, there's probably three items here at least if not more it's the same that no struggle with the PM1 first. Yeah, the PM1's a little awkward, once, but once you get used to it, it's pretty comfortable. It just takes a little time to get used to it, from what I found. Oh, another missile launcher. That's funny. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. To these fuckers. This uh, will hopefully work. I don't. I think this should work. Gecko grips actually help. Yeah, they help with the side grip a lot. I found. The thing is for me is like I keep using so many different mice on like such a regular basis. It's hard for me. Like my hands are never used to one mouse, which is really annoying. Uh, is that all the gas? Okay, cool. That's eleven gas. That's insane for us. Okay, cool. All right. Chat, we're going for just AO. We're just going for AOE everything kind of a situation. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh my god. Why am I still moving away? Chat, why am I moving this way? Why am I moving this way? Chat, I'm being trolled. I can't move forward. Okay, that's annoying. That was really weird. I like kept the momentum from the jump for some reason. All right, Chad. So here's the idea. Everything catches on fire now. That's the that's basically the idea here. Oh, you you made you made the G502. Ah, I gotcha. Holy mother of God, that was a lot of damage. Chat, ironically enough, this is actually a great thing because the more little things that this guy shoots at me, the more proc, chance, proc chains I get. Hey, ambitions, yeah, on the OP 1AK today. Just doing, just wrapping up my final testing on it. All right, so here's the current build. We don't need to shoot the boss to kill the boss. We kill one thing, everything else dies. Because gasoline is fun. All we need now is like one ignition tank and we're chilling, we're done. Ow. Fuck you, little fucking rats. All 
I think yeah, God, get me the fuck out of here. Okay, we are like super far behind in terms of like timing, but it's fine. I don't think it matters. All we we literally just need one ignition tank and it's over. Like literally one ignition tank and it's done. We just need to find an ignition tank. Is that? Oh my God, it's an ignition tank. Chat, there's an ignition tank right there. There's literally the thing we need is sitting right there. GG, we we win. Thermal ignition tank. GG, no re. Literally, it's done. That, that literally makes us win the game right there. Is that another one over there too? There is another one there. Oh dear God in heaven! What the fuck is that? Oh hell nah. Yeah, no thank you. I'm hard pass on that thing. I don't know. I don't want to do anything with that. Uh, I'm very scared of this thing. Very scared. Please die. Okay, thank God. Okay, we're good. We're chill. We're chill. We're chill. We're chilling. Okay. GG. There was a very there's there was a chance we die from that there. Okay, so chat, the ignition tank quadruples the damage of our burning, and we have eleven gasoline. So we touch anything in the game, and everything else catches on fire. And then everything and everything else just dies. So basically, we have to kill one thing, and everything else on the screen just go and dies immediately, which is very helpful. It makes this game much easier. That would be awesome to be a printer for these. That'd be sick, but that's okay. Um, ukulele? Absolutely. <laughs> well, why not? Ooh. Uh, mirrored urn. Is that good for us? That is actually better for us. So I'm going to take the mirrored urn too. How much damage? Oh my god. Casual 3k damage? I wish this was an elite so it would have died by now, but that's fine. Okay, we do we do so much damage now. This is actually perfect. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. We just I, maybe just like one more gas tank would be nice, but I that's a pretty minimal thing. That thing could just F right off though. That missed. Okay, we're chilling. Alright. Uh, we can just float we can just float spam this thing as well so we're chilling on that as well i think the only thing we really need right now is like some kind of like cc but that's a pretty minimal thing i don't think we're oh my god another ukulele ah <laughs> uh, chat oh chat this is gonna be great they fucking dodged it i hate everything all right chats so remember i said basically we just like shoot like generalized stuff and everything else in the screen dies it's just gonna get a lot worse now so basically we can just proc chain everything together now and we don't even have to really shoot the boss it's actually better for us to shoot the little things that don't like we actually do more damage to the boss by not shooting it because the more it's on fire the better the only problem is he keeps dodging and burn dodging all that but that's okay it is what it is And GG, we win. That was hard. Oh my god, Executioners is amazing. Cool. Well, this is easy. All I have to do is not die, which is uh, a lot harder than it sounds, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I killed one enemy and everything else just dies. Oh, this is great. I love that. Honestly, I need more gasolines at this point. If I could get, if I could swap off these two, um, the two ignition tanks for two, uh, for like two more, um, sorry, the two ukuleles for ignition tank, it'd be GG's. I am a little slow though. I would like some movement speed too, I think. That would be nice, but that's again pretty minimal. 
Also, chow, big pro tip here. Don't stand still when you're doing the TP on this stage. Oh, is there one there? Oh, it's an HEG missile. Fuck, I missed that. I'm bad. Uh, don't stand still on that stage because you'll die to the fucking rock crabs. All right, uh, chat, see that thing there? We need to not aggro that under any circumstances. Why is it aggroed on me already? You better not. Actually, I'm going to get... It's going to aggro on me pretty much no matter what here because I'm just going to immediately hit it with some random stuff. Probably better for me just to get, oh, get this over with now. Oh, hello. You were not invited to this party. Oh, dear God. Hey, Chad, there's a reason we don't like this thing. It's very ugly. And it has a beam that kills us from like 50 meters away. Oh, that's so much damage on that thing. That's actually great. I just need to get like a couple cheeky shots on it and we're like chilling. I just need to keep it away from me. Oh, that's fun. I kill it? Wow, that did a lot of damage. Dear God, I think I got it. I did get it. Wow, it died. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, we need to go find the TP, which I don't... Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. We'll chill around then. Okay, the fact that we're doing, like, good damage to big targets is very good. Very good. I just need to keep that going. The hell is that particle effect I'm seeing? We do. We, right now, I think the only thing we really need is like speed. I think speed and maybe just like one or two more ignition tanks, and we're chilling. Everything else is pretty much set in stone. I think at this point, that's pretty pretty much it. There's actually not a lot of items here, though, which is very odd. Normally, there's a lot of items in this stage, but there's not a lot here. Okay, I'll go check this. Maybe there's something good here. Usually, there's like a couple printers. There's like a bunch of other stuff in this stage, but this is like a pretty low spawn, which is odd. Why am I almost dead? What happened? Alright, let's go. Let's just hit this, I guess. There's not really a lot else we can do here. That really sucks. Actually, maybe there's a good item there. Probably isn't, though. It's okay. Uh, razor wire is really good actually that's very good for us very good okay chat here's gonna be the deal we just need to basically kite everything around here as much as we can we're just gonna hide behind here we're just, we're just gonna kite this is actually one of the best item one of the best enemies for this Basically, chat, the more things are on the screen, the more damage it's going to happen. And again, we don't even need to click the enemy. Ooh, that's going to hit me there. All right, cool. That was quick. Dear Lord in heaven, don't like you. At least the thing died quick. Thank God. And I missed. Okay, Chad, this is actually a pretty, this is actually winnable. We have really good single, like really good single target damage. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, as I say that, I almost die. 
The only problem is that we need to kill something for everything else to die. So like we're kind of stuck on things dying. So like we kill everything really fast. It doesn't matter of like, and we just we just need to make sure the big things actually die because if the big things don't die, they break the chain. And our items aren't like ideal for this setup, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. It is what it is. Who knew, who knew our artificial run was gonna be the run we'd actually get the farthest with today, chat? Of course, it's a bunch of healing ones, so why wouldn't it be? All right, let's get it. You think I hit chat? Oh, I hit. Okay. I already hear bad things, so we're not off to a good start. Ah, it's a wisp. What the hell is this guy doing over here? I messed up a bot. Uh chat, do we do we mess do we mountain shrine? Obviously we do. Brandelier is great. I'm just wondering how much we farm for items here, chat. I don't know how far we go with this. Let me just, I'll do a little bit of exploring just to take a peek around us. I would like to get some movement speed if at all possible. Not like we're really like in threat of anything dying. Honestly, the gasoline procs are insane right now. The gasoline procs are carrying us so hard. Didn't see you. Thank God you died before you shot me. You could have killed me. Movement speed? Bless. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. We'll go over here. Let's go clear this. Movement speed is actually like our biggest problem right now, I think. Uh, anything hiding down here? I mean, hmm. Ooh, chat, you think an addition tank from this? Ah, close. That's actually still pretty good. That is terrifying. Oh, there is something up here. I am so glad that that guy just randomly hit that wall. Ooh, there we go. Secret chat's up here too. Perfect. Okay. Um, what do we got? Ignition tank? Yeah, Bulbo. That's fine. I'll take that. I need to like um. If, oh, more gas! More gasoline! Smile. I wonder what else I'm gonna take, chat. Damn, our single target damage is actually insane. We do so much damage to like with single target stuff. Okay, there's a big chest there. There's a big chest up here. I want to hit before I go. Uh, let me just quickly go check this. Okay, that's good actually, it's actually pretty solid. Go hit this, and then we are good to go. I honestly kinda wanna get rid of my hoopoo feather because it makes it kinda it makes it harder for me to balance the flying, but that's okay. Oh, it's just just an overloading oh, two overloading wander and vagrants. Nice! That's not that bad. That's not absolutely horrifying. Dear God, the proc chain is about to be insane. Something is ticking this thing for 700 damage per second. I don't know what it is, but I want more of it. Wow. Ow. Chad, our proc chain's the best. Thing comes out of the ground, it's already dead. 
You would be great, chat. If we can get some gasoline, uh, if we can get some crowbars to like increase the first hit damage, that'd be crazy. Okay, a little long on this stage, but we got a lot of really good items for stage. I would really like a scrapper. How long does it take this to die? Okay, very quick. We have good items. We just, uh, we're, we have good items. We're just a little off on a couple things. Um, I just need, I literally just need, if we had like maybe two or more ignition tanks, this would be perfect. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that thing just got deleted. What the hell? Oh, that's bad. These are very scary, chat. These prevent us from being healed. Oh, you fucker. Chat, the proc chains from me shooting the thing all the way over here is affecting this thing over here. All right, I forgot that doesn't block projectiles. Come on, man. No, this run was so good. Fuck. I hate that Ice Wall doesn't block projectiles. It's so cringe. Damn, that's why I wanted movement speed so I can get out of those situations faster. That sucks ass. Damn. Damn, man, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, well, it is what it is. L, L game chat. I'm kidding. That's the game. This is how Risk of Rain works. That's all it always goes. All right, chat. Well, that's all me done for the day. Thanks for chilling and hanging out today. Sorry we didn't really do the normal. I just didn't really feel like bad business today. Not really feeling it. But anyways, I appreciate y'all chilling and hanging out. Thank you very much. If you missed it, I do have the review of the Raven Mori V2, the mouse pad we were using today. Well, this one here up on the channel went out yesterday. So if you want to learn more about this pad, you can go check it out. It is one of my favorite pads as of late. And I'll be on probably next Saturday. I'll try and stream on Wednesday. Just my Wednesday has been kind of busy as of late, um, but I'll do my best to try and stream then as well. But that's going to be everything for today. Thank you again for hanging out and chilling and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.